if it does overlap, it might not, depending on how big I make the petals. So let me just try and start. Now let me see. I want to make this kind of this way, I think. And these are background petals, so don't, this doesn't have to be your final, the final say. I don't know, this is just for um, maybe, um, you know what it is? It's for depth. That's what I'm trying to think of. Um, so to give the daisy some depth because the white is what ultimately um, we want some nice white petals so and I think how many did I put there four five, six, seven, eight. I put nine that's a lot I think they usually have about seven and you can make five or I don't know maybe nine is good too but so now that I'm gonna leave that and do that in a minute because I that I don't know it's wet but let me try this one now. I'm going to go um, this way. And just start getting the shape of a daisy. Now, I'm not a daisy expert by any means. I, you know, like I said, I just like to play. And I'm pretty happy with the results I get. I'm not a, a realistic painter as you say, you know what I mean? Like I'm not really going for realism. I'm going for close enough, you know? So those petals are kind of far apart and I don't mind because when I come back with the white, I'll fill it in and it'll be fine. So I'll make sure when I go over it with the white that it uh, fixes that part. And then, oh, I want to remember to put my little, I'm going to put a bud right here. So I'm going to just pull one two and then three and then I'll put a calyx there after we're gonna put some um, little wood twigs in there too I'm gonna do this one I hope all this is in the shot I know the lighting isn't ideal but um, and the way that I have to work around the camera isn't isn't ideal for me either but um, so I'm gonna pull this one And depending of how much how much bristles I put on the surface, that's how much uh, how wide your petals are going to be. So you know, if I'm really pushing down with the bristles, I'm going to get wider petals. And I can tell already these well, no, these are pretty much the same size as my sample because I'm using the same brush and it's a brand new brush and it just makes me happy. Uh, I'm going to go. Let's see, I'm gonna go up again with these. And then put like three down here, two, three. See, they're very far apart. I don't love that at all. But that's okay, because like I said, with the white, I'll make sure I'm uh, holding the brush right. I could probably throw another one in there. I think I'm gonna try it, because you know what? The white is what really matters. So I'll fix it with the white. All right, so that's my piece so far. I'm getting the flow and um, kind of setting myself up for the design and cleaning my brush. That's what you hear. Tap and I'm going to add my little, go ahead and get my little script liner now, that really thin little liner. And we're going to make a puddle. Now this is what I did on my sample, which I kind of liked. I used this brown color, which it's a medium brown. It's not the darkest of browns. It's called brown iron oxide. And I actually mixed that with the gold. And I have this color called Kim Gold, and it's a ceram coat color in their gleams, metallic Kim Gold. And I really like this. I've been using this um, on my sugar skulls. This is what I was painting their teeth with. And it's a pretty gold color. So I'm going to take just a little bit of that on my palette. And I'm going to just brush mix a little bit together and get it kind of wet. So I'm going to pull a little brown over here with a drip of water and pull a little gold over there and kind of mix it together. And it makes it a kind of a metallic-y brown. And it lightens it up. So on the black background, it's going to show up a little bit better. So get that real wet. I'm going to rinse my brush, 
lot and then come into this little wet puddle and load my brush. Now it's not gloppy. Can you see that? It's really still just thin. I'm trying to stay in the... And I'm going to just attach these um, leaves to something. So I'm just going to pull a vein. I should have probably done this before I did the daisies, but that's okay. Pull a vein. Pull a little twig out there. Um, even like say this is the is the um, little bud, so I need to attach that, and then I can attach these little filler leaves, and these big ones get attached, and this one, this one, and then you can make these little squiggle lines. They kind of just add a little, you know. I don't know what. <laughs> I like squiggle lines though. I've been doing them on my clay and everything. So I just, I don't know. They're cute. They're swirly. And so just, just like very lightly, don't push too hard. Just get that. Don't try too hard either. Just get a nice line. Let the brush do all the work. This brush is so fantastic. I'm telling you, it was such a delight when I came home with these brushes and I made my piece, see look, I got a little bit of brown on that le on that petal, which you know what, the white would cover it up anyway, but I just grabbed a toothpick and out of habit, I mean toothpick, a Q-tip out of habit. And so I'm just connecting all these leaves to something so they're not floating in the air. And um, still just getting the flow together of the piece. Yeah, you can see that pretty good. Um, and so you see how it's starting to shape up. We can still always add more leaves if we need them. Um, I think we need a couple more squigglies. Um, I think there needs to, oh, you know what? We got to put our blueberries on first. Let me put the blueberries. They are base coated in this color. Um, I'm using French gray blue. I think she had a different color on there, but it's just a really pretty kind of, purpley blue almost, um, a lavender blue, you know, country blue. So I'm squeezing that out on my palette. And I'm just going to take this, um, a round brush that I had, a number three round, which is another classic shape and size to have in your <coughs> toolbox. It's definitely a good size to have. And I am going to load that up with this uh, brush, with this French gray blue, and my hand is right in the way. Uh, and just get some nice smooth paint there. Um, and then I'm going to make some berries. And really, I like to make them in groups. So I'll put like a group of three, two, three to four on in a group. So I'm going to definitely have to put some up here and keep them kind of small. That's the thing about doing circles. They can grow on you real easy. So try not to get them too big because, you know, Berries are smaller than daisies. You don't want your berries bigger than your daisies. Uh, I'm going to put a couple here. And again, I mean, this is, I'm making this up as I go. Um, so I hope I like it as much as I liked my first one. And I did that three. I think I'll put two, my, my son and granddaughter upstairs being a little bit loud. Um, so I have two there. I'm going to put a couple here. One. Definitely three. Two. Three. And how many did I put on the other one? Oh, I put a couple over here and I put a couple over here. So I'll put two right here. I think I'm going to have to Go away and come back. So put two here. So you have three, three, and I think I need, well, I could put a couple fill, I'm gonna put a couple filler leaves there, I think. All right, I think that's good. All right, so now I still have the flow going. Now what am I gonna do? We are going to, we, can, we have to connect them um, 
with the um, twigs again, but I want to add a couple more leaves too while I'm at it. I'm going back to my smallest filbert and I'm going to grab that blue color for the shadow leaves and I'm going to put a few more of them in because then when I'm adding the twigs I can just do the berries and these little shadow leaves. I want to put a couple here. Oh boy, they're being loud. She just got here tonight, so, and she doesn't have school tomorrow, so they're going to be a little loud. So there's two there. Do I need more? Um, I'd like a couple, like another green, a couple of green ones. I'm going to use the medium size brush and do that double load again. So the double load is blot, you go side, one color, you flip it and do the other side. And then you work it into the bristles. Flip the brush, don't put the light side and the dark side, you gotta keep them separate. I'm gonna throw a couple more of them on here, this right here. But see, I just wanted them a little smaller. I like that. And, but I don't want it to get too crowded because that's what I tend to do. I start really filling up the piece. That's what I noticed about my other one. I got it a little too crowded. So somebody stop me because I'm getting, put one more and that's it, Sarah. Stop. That's it. All right, I'm stopping. <laughs> because like, yeah, I mean, you don't want it to look too crowded. And I was hoping this one was gonna saw. So I did the first one where everything came out big and I didn't like that. And then this one, I really liked how I had placement and everything got smaller, but I think it got too crowded. And then I put these checks on the edge. So now this one, I'm gonna correct all my mistakes and just really be happiest with this one. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do my little, um, my vine lines again with the gold and brown mix, which I love that idea. So cute, because I like that metallic-y shine to it. So hopefully I'm in the shot, yeah. And connect what I didn't connect. Uh, I gotta connect these berries. Isn't that cool? That metallic shows really well with the brown. So I need to add this and that and that and that and that and that. Let's see what else. I think, oop, the berry's up here. Right here. I'm gonna go boop, boop, boop. All right. So that, oops, one more up here, right there. And I guess squirrel, swirlies will be in order, but I will go ahead and do, let's get those daisies looking white. So I'm back to the number uh, six filbert. We have a, an eight, six, and four. So it's the middle size, and I'm gonna get some nice fresh white. Oh, I'm shaking that bottle, and I'm putting some white on my palette here. Oops, it had a it has a blue blah, blah, a blue blah, blah. I'm gonna have to yell up to them to be quiet because I'll be right back.